As Martial says, the old culture of secrecy and entitlement has been replaced by one in which transparency and scrutiny really are now the defining features. But set against that is a less positive side. Many MPs here still feel that the public demand a sackcloth and ashes approach to doing their jobs. It's almost as if voters assume that a cheap MP is a good MP. But while nobody wants to see MPs frittering money away, is that assumption really correct? Here's Gillian Keegan, the Conservative MP for Chichester, elected in 2017. If you compare somebody who's in a London seat, for example, well, of course, they're not going to have any extra housing. They've got one place. They probably cycle and get the tube because they've got access to that. If you compare that to somebody in Scotland, they're absolutely going to need two places. Plus, they're probably going to have plane travel, which is more expensive. It's going to make them look like a more expensive MP. But it's not for anything other than the logistics of the difference between being in, you know, Hammersmith or Scotland. So th there's another big difference, which is office expenses are often put together with personal expenses. So if you look at my expenses, for example, most of them are office expenses, which are higher than my predecessor because I now have an office in Chichester where there wasn't a, an MP's office in Chichester. So that's going to make you look different. So all these broad comparisons at the top line level are very misleading. 